Welcome to Chapter 3 of Our Gripping Tale, where the sun casts long shadows over the bustling culinary school. The air is thick with the aroma of sautéed garlic and fresh herbs, yet the atmosphere is charged with an undeniable tension. Sophie Sage stands at the heart of this culinary battleground, her heart racing as she prepares to confront Ruthie Clove, a once-revered chef whose jealousy has turned deadly. As the clock strikes two, Sophie adjusts her chef's coat, her fingers brushing against the tampered recipe book she discovered. This book, a tangible reminder of the stakes, lies heavy in her pocket. She is not alone. Her allies, Marco and Lila, stand nearby, their expressions a mix of support and apprehension. The kitchen is alive with the sound of knives clattering and pots bubbling, yet Marco's voice cuts through the chaos, questioning Sophie's resolve. With a nod, Sophie steals herself for the confrontation that could change everything. Join us as we delve deeper into this culinary mystery, where every ingredient could be a clue and every dish a potential disaster. The kitchen, a place of creation and competition, now becomes a stage for confrontation. Ruthie Clove enters, her tall, sharp-featured presence commanding attention. Her stylish attire is overshadowed by the glint in her eyes something darker lurking beneath the surface. Sophie feels a chill as Ruthie smirks, her voice dripping with sarcasm. What's this? A little gathering? She taunts. But Sophie is undeterred. She steps forward, her voice steady and clear, accusing Ruthie of tampering with the recipe book to sabotage the competition. Ruthie's expression shifts, surprise flickering before her features harden. You think you can accuse me? You have no proof she retorts. Yet Sophie is prepared. She pulls out the book, its pages still warm from the kitchen, a silent witness to Ruthie's deeds. The room falls silent, the simmering pots the only sound as Sophie's words hang in the air. This is more than a culinary dispute. It's a battle for truth and justice, where motives are as complex as the recipes themselves. In the silence that follows Sophie's accusation, the kitchen becomes a crucible of tension. The simmering pots seem to echo the boiling emotions within. Sophie stands firm, the recipe book in her hand a testament to her resolve. Ruthie, once a revered chef, now faces the consequences of her actions. Her motive, revenge for a ruined career, is laid bare. The tension is palpable, a thick fog that envelopes the room. Marco and Lila, Sophie's allies, watch with bated breath, their support unwavering. This confrontation is more than a personal vendetta. It's a quest for justice, a search for truth in a world where culinary excellence can be both a blessing and a curse. As the scene unfolds, the stakes are clear. This is a recipe for confrontation that will change everything. Join us as we unravel the layers of this mystery, where every clue is a step closer to the truth, and every revelation a potential turning point in this gripping tale. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling journey through the culinary world, where mystery and intrigue simmer beneath the surface. As we reach the end of Chapter 3, the tension is at its peak, and the truth is tantalizingly close. The confrontation between Sophie and Ruthie has set the stage for a dramatic resolution, where justice hangs in the balance. Stay tuned to the Storyteller channel for the next chapter in this gripping tale, where every revelation brings us closer to the truth. Will Sophie uncover the full extent of Ruthie's deception? Will justice prevail in this culinary mystery? Join us as we continue to explore the depths of this investigation, where every clue is a piece of the puzzle and every moment is filled with suspense. Don't miss the next installment, where the stakes are higher and the tension is palpable. Subscribe to Storyteller for more thrilling tales and case resolutions.